This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. We have a storm system that's going to curl through the northern portion of the state tonight. Going to help to draw in some much colder air and a lot of wind across the area. Look for wind gusts near 60 miles an hour here in the metro during the overnight. Then during the day tomorrow, things will die down wind wise, but it will remain cooler with highs in the mid 50s. And then we climb out of the temperature hole Friday, Saturday and Sunday with warming conditions. A Pewaukee High School teacher is charged with two counts of rape for having sex with a student. According to investigators, at least one incident happened in the teacher's classroom and was photographed by the student. Teacher Jennifer Vigil is in jail, charged with raping the 18-year-old boy. Detectives say the 31-year-old Vigil had sex with him twice. Investigators say she claims it was consensual, but the student claims he was forced to do it. The student says he told her no, but then agreed so that he could leave. Then he took out his cell phone camera and snapped a picture. Detectives say the picture is, quote, pretty incriminating, end quote. Even though the student is technically an adult, and even though Vigil claims the sex was consensual, it really doesn't matter because it's sex between a teacher and a student, and that is against the law. A woman who drove drunk and killed two of her passengers took a plea deal today. In March 2011, Stephanie Mendez was using the loop entrance onto I-25 from Montaño when she lost control, sped across an open area, and crashed into a van on the freeway. Four of the five people in Mendez's car were thrown out. Two died. The woman and two children in the van were not seriously hurt. Mendez's blood alcohol was 0.23, nearly three times the presumed drunk level. Today, she pled guilty to two counts of vehicular homicide and two of causing great bodily injury. She's looking at up to 18 years in prison when she is sentenced. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.